Yeah, you're looking good. <laughs> that feels terrible. Look at all these Jeeps coming through here. They're all lifted. They're all like Rubicons. We're definitely the crazy ones out here today. <laughs> oh. oh God. That was pretty Hell good. Yeah, dude. Nice. <laughs> You're on the bumper. Hey, what's going on everybody? Alex here and I am in Moab right now. Case is behind the camera. We're about to tackle fins and things in a little bit of an interesting truck. Behind me is Stubby, our Ram 1500 Classic. Four wheel drive, but basically the cheapest four wheel drive truck you can get. It's a work truck, but it's still four wheel drive. It's got no skid plates and we're gonna see how far we can make it on fins and things. We might end up doing a little bit of damage Roman gave us the okay to put some dents in the front bumper. We already priced out a new front bumper. I'm hoping we don't do that. This truck is really short, hence the name Stubby. Not a long wheelbase, not a ton of overhang from the front uh, wheel and the rear wheel, but uh, yeah, bone stock, no lift, no skid plates, stock tires. Not the kind of truck you would typically see in Moab. Let's go tackle the trail. Touch something? Well, yeah, you, you scraped your chin, obviously. Nice. Now you can see we took most of the stickers off this truck. This was the turd and turf truck that Nathan thought he was going to use as a poop scooping truck. We ripped all those graphics off and we left this one crappy sticker. And if this truck makes it through the whole trail without denting its bumpers, we'll peel this off because it doesn't deserve the crappy badge on the side of it. But I'm a little nervous because we had to pay five bucks to get into this area of the trail system in Moab and the guy at the gate was really freaked out and was telling us we pretty much shouldn't be here with this truck. We're doing it anyway. Up. No, it's just getting close, and we're not even nearly on the hard part of this yet. I'll tell you what, even though this is a half ton truck, it's still kind of hard to see over the hood. All right, well, we have arrived at our first major obstacle, which is the V-notch. Basically a big dip in the ground, and it's really easy to scrape both front and back bumpers going through this. So far, I haven't touched. Looking good. The throttle in this, uh, in this truck, this has the V6 Pentastar engine. It is so touchy and really hard to modulate the accelerator pedal. Uh, you push it and it feels like it's either on or off. Um, so it's kind of a jerky ride. How's my line looking? Probably good. I don't know if there's a perfect way for you to go down this considering the vehicle. Got a couple drop offs here. Oh man, this is nerve wracking. Oh yeah, we're touching chrome. Touching chrome? Yeah. I don't think there's much I can do. No, there is not. Dented yet or just scraped? Scrape. It looks decent from here. Mud flaps are scraping. Oh, you lifted a tire. Got it. <sighs> <laughs> Little nerve wracking. Not too badly scraped up yet, at least that I can tell. I know we were touching it, but where were we touching, Case? Uh, it was mostly here on the uh, on the right side. Yeah. yeah. See that? Just on the plastic so far. I didn't get the chrome too bad. Yeah, but honestly, look, it looks pretty good. Look at all these Jeeps coming through here. They're all lifted. They're all like Rubicons. They've all got winches. They've all got bumpers. We're letting them pass us because we're going a lot slower. 
But we're definitely the crazy ones out here today. <laughs> All right. We're gonna try and go over this next one here. It is so hard to see over this hood. I have no idea where I'm going yet. I can't see where I'm going at all. Do I look good? Yeah, so uh, there's a bit of a drop here to your left. So I think the further right you stay, the easier it'll be. Yeah, you should be good. Nice. Just taking it nice and slow. Because if we need to, we can probably back up and readjust over some of this stuff. Just scraped a mud flap. Pretty good. That we are not doing. Because that's a cliff. We're sticking left. What, you don't think we can make it up over that ledge? Look at him. No, I do not. You want to try it? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's go up the left. A little yeah, bypass like, behind us, yeah. yeah. All right, we've got our next steep climb here. And traction-wise, this shouldn't struggle at all, but there's a bit of a ledge coming up to this. But I think our tires made it up. Whew, it's windy, getting dust in my eyes. Didn't touch the front. My biggest concern right now is that there's no skid plates under this. So when I climb over a rock like that, there's uh, no protection on the underside and I really don't want to puncture a fuel tank or take out whatever, you know, who knows the hell what, but it's definitely my biggest concern right now. The bumpers, they're cosmetic, they can be replaced. The other stuff that's not protected by skid plates. That could leave you stranded on the trail. So far though, it's doing really well. And I did switch from four high to four low and it's making it a lot easier to modulate the throttle. Not that I really need the gearing of uh, the low range right now, but it just makes it easier to drive. Here's where things get a lot more challenging. The terrain is getting a lot rougher here. So Case might have to give me a spot or two. There's no way this bumper's not gonna touch. There's no way. There's no way. I'm about to smash this bumper, aren't I? It's looking like it. Oh yeah, you're on the bumper. Oh, Ooh, that sounds so bad. Brutal. And I'm taking the easiest line I can through here. Like I said, bumpers, cosmetic. A little more worried about all the mechanical bits on this truck getting ripped off. Not bad? Whew. Not too bad, but uh, I'm not through the hard, hard stuff yet. How's that bumper look? Eh, it doesn't, it doesn't look too bad. Maybe a little tweet. And just like always, we're using Onyx Off-Road to keep us on the trail. So you can see we are on fins and things right now. Onyx Off-Road will tell us everything about the trail. The technical rating, you can see it's a four out of 10, 1.6 miles long. And they'll even give you some photos, descriptions, and some advice on how to tackle the trail and just things you need to know. So download Onyx Off-Road. And I do have cell service right now, but plenty of Moab doesn't. And look at all these offline maps I have downloaded. All the areas I like going off-road, have them saved in my phone, and I don't need cell service to stay on the trail. Stay kind of straightened out. I go a little right again. A little bit more. Good. Yeah. Picking, picking lines that are keeping the transmission off the rocks. That's good. The fuel tank, yeah. I was thinking in my head, I was like, are we 100% sure that they told us to do these obstacles? But, but they did. 
I think they did. Yeah. That's this is what we talked about in the morning this, meeting. This is what we a, talked. A lot of times, Case and I will do videos and we get comments that are like, "There's no way Roman approved this." Roman approved this one. Yeah. Must have been in a good mood that day. <laughs> Let's try it out. Get a couple seconds to relax here. <laughs> Just kind of driving. This is a frame bender, which is obviously a intimidating name. You know, I mean. In a lot of off-road vehicles, it's not a big deal. But this is just it's not an off-road vehicle in any stretch of the imagination. So, <laughs> it'll be interesting. The farther right you go, the easier it'll be. Okay. Let me know when I'm about to drop. Yeah, I will. You gotta have a lot of trust in your spotter here. Because from my view, we're looking straight off a cliff with like a... 50 foot drop. Straighten out or keep them? I'd say maybe straighten out a bit. I am sorry, Stubby. I am so sorry. This was not my idea. All right. You're uh, probably about two feet. Still about a foot. Your uh, your front left is about to go. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're looking good. That feels terrible. Oh my god. Yeah, your front right's going over now. Nice. Smooth. <laughs> At least we're not tipping anymore. Not bad at all. All right, your uh, back left is about a foot. It's about to roll over. <laughs> the key is just taking this nice. as slow as you can. And actually, I'm... <laughs> Having an easy time doing that. Scrape the hitch. Beautiful. Didn't touch bumper. No. Not at no, all. I, it dragged on the pipe just a little bit, but that was that was pretty good. That was really good, I'd say. Yeah. Good line. Thank you. I can't believe I just did that in a work truck. Four-wheel drive work truck, but. Single cab, short bed. Basically, no features, no off-road protection. No off-road modes. And it's just doing it. That was pretty Hell good. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, our next obstacle here is One Tree Hill, which isn't really all that gnarly of an obstacle. It's just really steep, so more of a traction test than anything else. And uh, like I said at the start of this, no suspension lift, stock suspension, stock wheels, stock tires, so straight how it comes from the factory. We'll see how these tires get us up and over this hill. So I'm gonna stay pretty close to the tree. I don't wanna get too close because I don't wanna run into it if I do lose traction, but there's a pretty big dip on the right. And I don't want to fall into that. So oh, that's steep. We're gonna take it nice and slow. All I'm looking at here is sky. Losing a little bit of traction. Stayed in it though. And it's still climbing up. Back end started to swing out just a couple inches towards that tree, but I could feel it getting grip and just stay a little constant with the throttle. It figured itself out. And walked right up this. Coming downhill now. This is but clencher. Go further that way. Right? Yeah. Can't spot and work the camera at the same time. Not doing well with either. Tires are holding me, good traction. This is pretty slick rock we're on right now. And I 
am looking straight into the dirt right now. Sliding a little bit. Front tires dropped off. Hear that chin spoiler digging in a little bit, but we're starting to level out now. Now we just gotta worry about the back here. Seatbelt's locking up. Oh yeah. Those mud flaps get in the way. But if you're serious about doing trails, you're gonna rip those off. Or pull them off. You wouldn't let the trail rip them off. Walked it. Cake walk. All right, it's only butt scratcher left. We're at the last hard one. This is butt scratcher. It's a series of a few different rocky downgrades. The last one is by far the hardest one. That's where we're probably gonna scrape and have the potential to do damage. These first couple, we'll just take nice and slow. Still might dig a little. Not bad. No. It sounded bad. Yeah, it did. And I don't want to hear anyone yelling at me in the comments about choosing easy lines. Yeah, I'm choosing easy lines. I'm in a basic work truck. If I were in a lifted truck like our Ram 2500 Trailhound that's got 37s and expensive Fox suspension, yeah, I might pick some harder lines. But we're trying to see if this will get you on the same trails as all those lifted, built out trucks and do it without taking home any trail damage. It's getting steeper before it flattens out. Seems like this truck has just enough ground clearance to do this stuff. I think we're digging in the sand a little in, our, in the front though. And we're rubbing something. Oh yeah, that's the bumper. <laughs> Glad this isn't my truck. I'm not very confident right now. But can't go back, so it is what it is. We're plowing good now. Is it buckling? You can do at this point. Oh, you're losing the chin spoiler, but. Can't back up. No. <laughs> trying to go as slow as I can so maybe it'll just scrape and not dent. Sounds like a Titanic. Oh man. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh what? yeah. What did you do? Oh god. Oh, there's like a bracket loose. <laughs> not that happened. Certainly not the way we did. <laughs> no, must have been Roman. It was a manufacturing defect, I bet. I don't see any major scrapes or dents or deformities, though. No, I mean, it looks like the gap is a little... Oh, a little yeah. Less on we, the edge. we tweaked it a little bit. Yeah, you can see probably right most there. of the brackets, though. It didn't mess up the body at all though. If that's all that happens on this trail is we lose our tin spoiler, I'm gonna be very, very impressed with this truck. This isn't a super easy trail. There's a lot of stuff that's way harder in Moab and some of you might say that's not a super tough trail, but trust me, <laughs> for this truck, this is a hard trail.
Oh, I like fix this up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Did it come off? Yeah. Perfect. We're good to go. Good to go. <laughs> Let's get our parts. Here, pull forward. I'll, uh, I'll toss it in the back. Or actually, yeah, there you go. Good as new. Now we got more ground clearance. Better, oh, apart yeah. the better approach angle. And just in time for the trail to be over. Exactly. Oh, it's good. That's not going back on. No. We made it through fins and things in a bone stock work truck. God, you know what tire? Then yeah. it's bone stock tires too. Crazy, right? Yeah, you gotta drive that thing home. Yeah. Yeah. You might find a few rattles and things. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Are we the only ones that came through and not a giant lifted Jeep today? Yeah. yeah have, a, have a good one, man. Take it easy. <laughs> well, we lost our chin spoiler and we bent up our bumper brackets just slightly. That bumper's just kissing the body now, but Overall, I am super impressed with this truck. Did not expect it to make it through there that easily. We did not touch the underside, didn't touch fuel tank, didn't touch driveline or anything, didn't touch axles. All we touched was the mud flaps over and over and over again, the chin spoiler over and over and over again till it finally broke off and a little bit of the chrome front bumper, but that's about it, and our tow hitch. Yeah, and obviously that's all stuff that you would do if you actually intended to make your truck an off-road truck on top of plenty of other things, but we wanted to show that a completely unmodified truck could still go and do this, even with the chin spoiler, even with the stupid mud flaps. And it so, is not crappy off-road. Wipe that off. Yep. The work truck can conquer Moab, and I'm pretty stoked about that. So there you go, if you had any doubts that a bone stock, very basic pickup truck could do fins and things in Moab. Which we did. Yeah, think again. We had doubts and uh, yeah, I definitely want to bring my truck here now that I know this can do it so easily. And hopefully that'll encourage some of you out there that have been wanting to get off road. Just go out and do it and take a little bit of a risk. You might pull off some plastic and stuff, but know what trail you're getting into. Use Onyx off road as we did. And yeah, you should be, uh, plenty fine. I'd say don't go out and spend all the money building a crazy off-road rig. If you've got a four-wheel drive vehicle and you want to check out the cool places, I think we proved today that you can get there. Yeah, it's fun spending money on off-road rigs. I mean, we, we both have big tires on our truck. Yeah, but of course. You don't have to. You don't have to in order to go out and do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Head on over to alltfl.com so you don't miss anything in the off-road world. More videos coming out of Moab. If you want to see TW200 versus KLR650, two of the most legendary dual sport motorcycles ever made, head on over to TFL Bike as well. Catch you in the next video.